hi everyone and welcome to this video and to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to enable allow untrusted shortcut on ios 13 and above in my previous video um i showed how to enable that and that seems to help a lot of people but most people are also find it difficult to enable that so i'm explaining this video on how to enable it if it's your first time here hit the subscribe button and also like the video when you find it useful now let's get started sometimes when installing some apps you need to enable allow on protest shortcut but when you go to settings and then go to shortcut you see that the allow on trusted shortcut is grayed out or it's inactive you can't even enable it you and be, beside or beneath it you see it says that you need to run a shortcut once before you can allow on trusted shortcut so in, in order for this option to be enabled you need to first run a shortcut and most people find it difficult to do that so I'm making this video so that I will show you how to do that. So let's proceed. In order to enable that, first you need to tap on shortcut, or you can search for shortcut and then tap on it. At the top right corner, you will see a plus sign there. You need to tap on that. And then create a new shortcut. So I come to create a new shortcut here and then run it. Tap on add actions and then select web. Select filter articles and then at the top right corner you see nest. Tap on nest. Okay, so here we need to type the shortcut name so you can type anything as the shortcut name so let me type subscribe and then tap on done okay so our shortcut has been created as you can see here subscribe that's the shortcut name if you don't run the shortcut after credit after creating it still the option will be grayed out so I have not run the shortcut so let's go and check and you, you see that it's still grayed out meaning that we have not um, run a shortcut so after creating a shortcut just run it and you can run it by tapping on this symbol here the left symbol just tap on it and you see a check mark meaning that the shortcut has been run or we have run the shortcut so when we go back to the settings And then shortcut you see that the allow on process shortcut has been or oh, it's active now so you can now enable it and just tap on allow so our allow on process shortcut has been enabled so guys that's the technical thing after creating a shortcut remember to run the shortcut and you'll be able to um, enable that feature if you find this video useful then subscribe and also hit the like button if there's any other question you want to ask you can also do that in the comment section below thank you for watching and i wish you all the best goodbye